let's talk about the Man United game tonight before we talk about what Daniel Levy's recently come out and said. Listen, it is a one-off tie. United should have had it done, then buried it 2-0 up with 82 minutes on the clock. Uh, he made substitutions, Eric Ten Hag, and they, they, they backfired. Um, do you expect Man United to go through? Are they favourites in your mind? I still think they are, but I don't think it's a foregone conclusion. Uh, Seville got a good result against Valencia. I know Valencia are third from bottom, but listen, they managed to win the game. Um, and I just think if you, you had the opportunity to finish off that tie in the first half, like you had chance upon chance, you played really well, and there was no way on the planet I could see. I know it was two freak goals, by the way. They got them back into it. They were two freak goals. Freak yeah. goals. But I just think with the injuries and the suspension... I still think you're favourites, but I don't think it's a foregone conclusion. Do, do, no, I really you, don't. do you think the players will be thinking we should have had this done and dusted? Does that go through your mind? Yeah, you, you, it you does. Had, you'd have the conversation in the dressing room as well where you'd go, boys, like, the, the conversation that would, would, would be happening when you're in Seville like, boys, we, we know we, we should have done that first leg. Let's not leave it to chance this time. We get our opportunity, mm-hmm. put it to bed. Let's finish this game off and go home. That would been that would be the talk, but Seville's fans are going to be, it's a great place to play. Mm-hmm. Seville fans are going to be behind them. As I said, you, if you go out tonight, Man United, you'll be kicking yourselves. Because of course, yeah. That's chance wasted. Do you um, do you see it like many matches when it's a one-off game that the first goal is all important? I do in this game because, but as I'm saying that, I do in this game. But when Man United went a couple up and were playing as well as they did, I could not see any way that Seville came back at all. Couldn't see it. But, but as you said, it was three goals. But I think right? it's more important for Seville. I think if they give Man United another foothold in the game, I can't see Seville coming back. But mm. I know they didn't, but it's against two freaks. I think Seville, if they've got any chance of winning this, yeah. have to score first. Who's, who's key for Man United? Because Anthony's been, let's say, turn it on. His last performance against Forest was one of his best yeah. this season. So he's, he, he's playing really well. Um, what's his name? I'm sorry, Anthony Marshall's. He looks quite, I mean, he's, he's. I can't remember. Oh, the first leg, yeah. he played fantastic, put a great he's through key. ball through for. Let's talk about so. Rashford potentially being back. I don't know if he will be I back. I don't think he will. Might for the semi final yeah. on Sunday, yeah. But um, Marshall's going to be key. Casemiro. Yeah. Again, he'll be key as well. But I think it's really important your two centre halves because you've got no Varane, right, no Martinez. Test. That's a great point. It's it's them two. I think they were the ones who give confidence to the rest of the team. When you've got Martinez and um, Varane and Casemiro, that little triangle is it's rock solid. Mm. Not rock solid, but you know what I mean? It's, you, you're confident with that. What it's going to be Casemiro, um, Harry Maguire, and Lindelof. Lindelof. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's a, it's a little bit, mm, but I still feel Manchester United in a great place to go and win this game. I do. Okay, um, how do you see it going? What will the score be? Ooh, it wouldn't surprise me if another penalty, you know, penalty shootout. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, goals though, one or two or something. One like that? or I think. Okay, uh, don't forget straight after us. You was and Groff brings you severe against Man United in their Europa League quarterfinal second leg. It's live on Talk Sport. Now staying sort of with Spurs, uh, sorry with Man United. Spurs chairman Daniel Levy has insisted that Harry Kane can still be successful at the club. He spoke in a rare interview at the Cambridge Union. That was back in March. He can absolutely win a trophy at Spurs. But, you know, being, being a legend is also important. You know, the fact that he's the top scorer uh, for, for Tottenham Hotspur, he's making history. Um, and, you know, I hope one day that there's a statue of Harry Kane outside our stadium. Um, now, when he says he can absolutely win a trophy at Spurs, they're, they're just words, right? I mean, it's easy to say it, but that is based on absolutely nothing. Well, no. It, it, if you've got Pep Guardiola saying, it, why are you going to take Harry Kane? Well, he can, he can absolutely win a trophy at Man City. You go, I get that. But actually, history tells us that he absolutely can't win a trophy at Spurs, well, doesn't it? No, but he's had opportunities. And that's the thing. So he's got to a Champions League final, mm. which they also didn't win. I'm sure they got to a League Cup final and they got beaten that as well. I think maybe by Chelsea. Mm-hmm. So, so they've, they've got to finals um, and it, it just hasn't happened for them. I still think they, they they stand a better chance of winning the a trophy with him because he's still one of the best of course, in the world. Yeah. Um, but eventually, time's going to run out. He's, he's obviously on his age. I think this this window coming up this summer is crucial for him. One year left on his deal. What does Daniel Levy do? Does he hold him onto him for another year and try and and hope he can convince him to to sign a new contract, mm-hmm. or does he cash in now and go right? I'll take. 100 million for Well, him. he's a businessman, right? What do you think he'll do? Well, I don't know. Because you say he's a businessman, but then that means he wants the most money. So if United go and bid 80 and Chelsea go and bid 120, I don't think he's going to sell Harry Kane to Chelsea. No. So then it's not, the, it's not about business then, is it? Because that's 120 million sitting right there. I know, but but he's got this commodity worth around about 100 million pounds and that'll be worth nothing in 12 months' time. Okay, so you think it's a big gamble. Okay, but you take you think you take the hundred and twenty from Chelsea? No, I don't think he'll ever well, then, sell with Chelsea. I, I know, but I'm thinking he'd rather take X amount of money, eighty million, ninety million from Man United, mm. than get nothing for him in a year. I don't know. I, I think he, I think he'd rather hold on to him for a year, try and convince him to sign that new contract, 
and then if he doesn't, then they'll let him go for free. Will, will he have a conversation with Harry Kane? I don't know how it works. You've obviously been in this position where he would say, listen, Harry, I'm, I'm more than prepared to let your, your contract run down. Do you think you're going to sign for us? Will, 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 will Harry Kane give him yeah, any indication? Listen, they'll, they'll be having conversations now about this new contract and what's going to happen. And, right. And be well, a, you think Spurs will offer him a new contract? Yeah, 100%. There'll okay. be one on the table from now. Right. But a lot depends on the manager. They've got to convince him about the, the plan of the club, who's going to come in, um, what the kind of players are going to attract, who they're going to try and sign. Um, and these things are up. But it comes down to what Harry Kane wants at the end of the day. So... I don't think Daniel, Daniel Levy is going to be doing all he can to convince him, but Harry Kane, in his mind, will have a rough idea about what he wants to do next. Okay. Uh, if he does leave the club, obviously Man United are one of the favourites to get his autograph. Mm. Do you think that um, if Man United get him, we spoke about this briefly in the meeting, if Man United get him, he will be the missing piece? A bit like yeah, I mean, Teddy Ted Sheringham. I know he was part of a four-man attack mm. force, but when he went, he left, he was 31 when he went to, to Manchester United. He won the treble when he went there, right? Mm. So age is sort of irrelevant if you've got the talent. I'm not linking the two, but I'm just saying, you know. Yeah. Um, do you think that if he goes, he will be the difference? Man City have got yeah. Haaland, he will be... Yeah, it, it gets them much closer. It'd be cha- they'd be challenging next season because... Harry Kane guarantees you 20, 25 goals every single season. And not only that as well, he can assist him dropping in Rashford just going mm. in behind. So, yeah, I mean, talk about one of the best strikers on the planet. Like, of course, if Man United get him... Can Man United win the league if Harry Kane goes there? I still give it to City. I think City has still got the edge. But right. Manchester City will be a lot closer. Manchester United will be closer with Kane. Okay. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.